views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. Hello, Daniel. Our camera guy just got here, my son Daniel. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. Uh, hey, thank you all for the uh, birthday wishes. I am 23 years old today. I know I don't look uh, a day old. We are coming to you live from Espresso Joe's. It's a world-famous coffee shop in Keyport, New Jersey, on the Jersey Shore. Uh, this town, by the way, is a uh, huge success story because when I first moved to New Jersey, I don't know, how many years ago, Daniel? 15? close to 15 years ago, you know, they, they told me go to Red Bank, they told me go to uh, the Stone Pony, which we're going to be talking about in a few minutes in Asbury Park. Nobody suggested Keyport, and the first time I found this town, which has just been gentrified uh, tremendously, I fell in love with it, and what brought me here? Expresso Joe's, because they were giving uh, opportunity for musicians to play here live, acoustically, or no, not even acoustically, right? Live, just come in and sign up and play and I said wow this is just a great place and the thing about the Jersey Shore is that uh, the people get together and they work out their problems and one of the people who has been devoting her life to helping those in need is to my right your left Susan Kelly she's with the Monmouth Ocean Food Bank for those of you who are uninitiated that stands for Monmouth and Ocean Counties those two counties together uh, comprise uh, the Jersey Shore. And uh, Susan, welcome to News Talk Online on PalTalk.com. Thank you very much. Well, we, we're just so pleased to have you here with us. And, um, you know, the economy is rough. Everybody's trying to make ends meet. And I keep hearing that the food banks all across this great nation of ours are suffering. They are tremendously suffering. And more than the food banks suffering, it's the, our neighbors that are suffering. Mm -hmm. And we've seen, in this past year, we've seen a 30% plus increase in the number of requests for emergency food at our local soup kitchens and food pantries. And we're struggling to keep food out to those uh, organizations. It's tough. And last year, we, this year, we distributed 5.2 million pounds of, of food to just people in the two counties of Monmouth and Ocean Counties. That wow. was a 1.2 million pound increase over the previous year. Uh, that was a huge, huge um, shock to us that things were so difficult for people. But when we talk, we really have to think about the people on, in Main Street, New Jersey. Uh, they just need our help. Right. Um, now, one of the ways to help people and have a great time, this is just amazing. How many years have you been doing this uh, this boardwalk relay? Well, this is our second year for the boardwalk relay race in Asbury Park. And it is fun. First, it's fun just because we're at Asbury Park. Right. And we're, Talk and about a, a, a town that's gentrifying, right? Yes. We're really yes. working to build that town back up. And it's just fact that we're there on the boardwalk. We're going to start at the Stone Pony. Yep. Uh, registration starts at 7.30. The race starts at 8.30. And we're going to have uh, a party at 10.30 to give out awards and, and celebrate all of the people who have come out and understand that there is hunger in our communities and they're doing something uh, major about it. So it's a it's a three part race. If I wanted to run, here's the thought. The <laughs> <laughs> or walk. Okay, or walk or be pushed uh, as Boaz would. Boaz likes to get pushed uh, whenever he goes to Disneyland so that he gets to the head of the line. Uh, but anyway, I'm sorry. I, was, I suppose I wasn't supposed to mention that, Boaz. I apologize. Boaz is our online producer. Um, uh, but it's 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 15k. It's it's a 5K. 5K? Oh, well, so, uh, well, hell, I could do one third of 5K. I could figure out how long that is. It's a relay race. So right. We're only going to do a third. But right. you can also have the opportunity, because I know that that's what you would want. You can do it all by yourself. 
the whole 5K. Oh, yeah, that would be something. Daniel, can I do the whole 5K all by myself? No. <laughs> he might be able to, but I don't think I can because, you know, at the age of 23, you know, I'm getting up there in years. Um, so then uh, afterwards, everybody goes to the Stone Pony, and they get to hear great music. They get to hear great music by Golden Seal, and they're right here in front of us, and how fabulous is that? And they've written a beautiful song about uh, hunger that's really um, heart-wrenching, I think, that uh, they've taken the time to understand the need. They've taken the time to put it to um, music and to uh, write the, the words to it, and it's fabulous. And I think that uh, I'm looking forward to hearing the whole song that day. We can um, celebrate them. And I think it takes a lot of uh, commitment, and I wanted to say thank you to them, because they are concerned about hunger. And if you talk to them, you can hear it in their voices, you can see it in their eyes, and I can feel it from their hearts. Yeah, well, they're good guys. Uh, I've worked with them in the past on other issues like uh, the uh, veterans and so forth. So, uh, in fact, that's how we met in Red Bank. You were singing uh, a song that you wrote, Joe Hughes, for the veterans. And we're going to listen to Joe Hughes in uh, Golden Seal in just a moment here. Now, let's just say for the sake of argument that I don't want to run the 5K. I mean, of course, I would always be able to do that. But just say for the sake of argument, I couldn't. Can I buy my way into the Stone Pony and... Uh, and donate some money to you guys and uh, hear these guys play? Absolutely. We'll make sure that you can. But you can also support another group that's running. Mm. So you can actually pledge uh, and support them. And I think there's going to be a nice prize for the team that raises the most funds that day. But that's, you know, we'll announce that the morning of. Okay, I've got a couple of websites. One of them is, what, the foodbankmoc.org. Is that right? That's correct. That's your website. And the other one, that's where you can pay a direct donation for the for the for the cause, right? Yes, that's correct. And BoardwalkRelay.org, did I get that right? BoardwalkRelay.org. And you can sign up for the race, and we have about 200 plus uh, people already signed up. We know that there's a steady, uh, you know, influx of people signing up, and we'll see people can sign up the morning of at 7:30. It's going to be wonderful weather. And um, it's going to be a great running day. It's going to be a great day to get together and to celebrate our commitment to help our neighbors. With the guest is Susan Kelly with the Mammoth Ocean Food Bank uh, here in on uh, the Jersey Shore. Uh, if you don't feel motivated to reach in your pocket and help uh, Susan, but we would appreciate it if you do, I'm sure there's a food bank in your community that could use your help too because this is a problem. And you know, the sad thing about the, the food bank situation is around the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, suddenly everybody recognizes that we have hungry people and we, uh, we're out there to help. And then the rest of the year we kind of forget the problem. Who are the hungry people of our community? Do you know the hungry people of our community, our neighbor, could be our cousin, it could be the person standing next to you, and tomorrow it could be us. I've actually heard stories that, uh, and I don't know whether uh, 